Today I will talk about the MITEM strategy development from the coastal navy to the offshore navy. Uh, Dun Xiaoping made an online spot inspection on the sea to the state of the art destroyer equipped with missiles in a uh, 1979. He declared that we had the right to assert our interest in the issues in the Pacific Ocean. Then he wrote down a slogan appealing to construct a strong navy with the capabilities of conducting modern operations. Dun appointed Liu Hua Tin as Supreme Commander of the PLA Navy and ordered him to construct such a modernized navy in 1982. Liu showed the strategic guidance which the reform of the PLA Navy should base on active defense and offshore operation were the guidance shown by Liu. There are several reasons in addition to the threat by the U.S. intervention why the PLA has to construct a strong navy and why Liu showed such guidance. The presence of a large and growing percentage of China's GDP in coastal area vulnerable to air and sea threats is a concern Beijing is addressing. From 1982 to 1980, 32.7% of China's GDP was located in coastal areas by from 1995 to 97, that percentage had risen to 41.7. Doctrinally, therefore, Beijing wants to push the space for a potential conflict offshore. There requires enhanced naval and air capabilities as well as the means to command, control, and coordinate fast-moving and far-flung forces. Another reason is the nation's increasing dependence on important imported strategic resources, notably oil. They are concentrated in volatile areas, especially in Middle East. It is an increasing concern in Beijing. The U.S. Department of Energy estimates that by 2025, the PRC will be 73% dependent on oil imports. Liu indicated the six principles in the PLA Navy strategy as follows. The first principle is to match the multi-layered system of the theoretical principles. The second one is to materialize the strategy given by the CMC. The third is to reflect the inherent requests of Navy construction and future operations. The fourth is to base upon the objective needs thought by the development of naval circumstances. The fifth is to respond to the request from the circumstances of the strategic status and the posture of the maritime battle field in the Chinese defense districts on the sea. The final one is to meet with the increasing demand brought by the improvement of the China status in the international society. Li also said, Comrade Dun Xiaoping clearly indicated the orientation on the two fundamental issues, 
the strategic characteristics and the basic area of the naval orientations. The characteristic is defensive, and the area is the offshore sea. According to this orientation, we have to make sure that our naval strategy is to defend the offshore area and it belongs to one type of the area defense strategies. Liu also said it's needless for China to pursue the Blue Water Navy to attain the hegemony. Our objective is to maintain the uniform of our nation and to defend our territory and sovereignty to cope with the local complex on the sea and to deter and defend the possible invasion from the sea by the imperialism and the hegemonism. The primary operations area for the PLA Navy of the hour is the offshore sea which is encircled by the first island chain including Yellow Sea, East China Sea and South China Sea. All of the area is under the uh, uh, administration of China according to the international maritime laws and including the inherent territories of China like the islands in South China Sea. According to advancing the level of the economic power and the science and technology, the naval power should become much stronger. The operational area of the PLA Navy should be gradually extended to the northern part of the Pacific Ocean and the second island chain. Our Navy will conduct the operation phase in both we and enemy island, uh, sorry, enemy launch the offensive. According to the doctrine of the active defense campaign, the offshore active defense strategy is the basic theory uh, leading the construction and the operational concept of the PLA Navy today. The U.S. analysis fear the appearing strategy of the PLA called the Anti-Axis Area Denial, A2AD strategy. Although this strategy is the concept estimated by the U.S. side, it has clearly been resulted from the offshore active defense declared by Dun and executed by Liu. This concludes uh, today's session. Thank you.